Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga, chapter 390. Uh, we're only 10 away from 400, which is really cool. I think, I just, I don't know. Give it up for Horikoshi. 400's a lot of chapters for, for a manga series. Uh, we're not there yet, but um, yeah, uh, these are the unofficial translations that came up surprisingly in the morning. Um, I was getting ready for work. I have a new job for anyone who hasn't been... Uh, Keeping up with my community post, uh, I started it recently, so apologies for this being late. Um, but I'm very excited to read this. Um, it's only three in the afternoon, which is a really fun, beautiful, sunlit time to bask in some My Hero. So, uh, last we left off, pretty sure we're getting even more Dobby stuff. Um, I don't know anything about this chapter, but I think it's been a couple weeks, but I think the last chapter we had was uh, him and Ida flying in on the uh, ice jet, right? <clears throat> and it ended off on that with the whole cliffhanger with Dobby. And so I'm excited. Um, one thing I have seen this week before we begin, I have seen a lot of those uh, from the new volume that got released in Japan, a lot of the color pages and different artwork. And my God, Mina, the queen that she is, got a great, she, I think she's the back cover. I think she's the back cover of the new uh, volume. And it looks so good. Like she, it's her with the horns, like straight up. Uh, one of her eyes is white. Oh, it's just so good. Sorry I didn't react to that here, but they shared it in the Discord. Um, so yeah, uh, outside of those extra pages, I don't know anything new in regards to my hero. So let's begin. Okay. By the way, I'm reading this on uh, T TCB scans. I highly recommend you go there. They do a great job with the fan translations. Um, so let's go. First page, we're getting, okay, yep, Ida and Todoroki, and it looks like Ida's legs are not doing so well. I mean, he's doing this to get him here fast, but like his the exhaust pipes on his legs are melted and disfigured. Um, he's definitely pushing himself to go this speed. This is as far as I can take you, says Ida. Thank you, Ida, replies Shoto. Oh my God, that looks so sick. He's like, you can just feel the inertia. He's riding on top of Vita and uh, their ice uh, wings are kind of breaking apart to the side. Flash, fire, fist, phosphor. To uh, Sh Shoto Todoroki rising. We're getting a rising chapter. Chapter 390, Shoto Todoroki rising. Okay. Well, that's kind of crazy that Todoroki hasn't had a rising chapter yet. Um, Actually, the list of people who've had rising chapters are pretty small. I think it's just Momo, Bakugo, and I want to say the last one's All Might, but I don't know if that one counts because it wasn't it like that uh that spinoff. It was like a special chapter slash like OVA type of thing they released. I'm not sure if that counts though, but I think it's just those. So the, and this makes four. Okay. Wow. Um, that looks so sick, by the way. Really, really cool. Whoa. Okay. We're showing, um, the, them blasting through the streets on the way to the supernova. That is Dobby's fire. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this, I keep saying it every chapter, but this animated, holy shit. I can't wait. Cutting back to the command center. I can't believe it. They broke the sound barrier. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty classic sign of breaking the sound barrier. That's actually what happens in real life. You see the rings. Um, since there's two rings, is that going? He's going Mach two at least, if not higher. That's crazy. How did? How old your body? It's anime. It's whatever logic. Whatever. Uh, they're flying toward an, an inferno created from a from a man. So you know, <laughs> logic don't matter. Um, he's constantly generating ice to minimize their drag while heating the air in front of them to reduce friction. Ah, well, at least, you know what? It's still ridiculous, but hey, leave it to Hori to add some like uh, logic to it too, just to soften things. I love that. That's great. Suko just thinking, if we want any chance of averting disaster at Gunga, we need an engine in half cold, half hot. You've been a diligent teacher all might, he says as he covers his face. Damn. He's aghast. Like, you know, when, you know, when Tsukuyuchi breaks his stern expression, you know, he's really feeling it. <laughs> it's up to you two now. I'm counting on you. Thud. As we see Ida 
falling to the ground first and then Todoroki flying above him. Todoroki-kun, Shantida. Thanks to you, I finally became the person I wanted to be. Aww. Well, I mean, how much... Like, wasn't the, wasn't that more so Deku? But, I, I mean, you know, not to say these two haven't had history, too. Um, but I, I get what he's saying. He's saying something really nice. Therefore, it's time for you to go and do the same. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you see uh, him just kind of spiral, do the do the stop, drop, and roll. Dude, if you're going Mach 2... <laughs> all right. I don't care. I'm just going to mention this. If you're going Mach 2 or Mach 1, at least, and you land on the ground, you're going to be like a stain, like running across the ground for at least a mile. Like, you're like cartoon style. Like, you're getting scattered. Um, and then, yes, I get the irony of stain. Ida being a stain, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, therefore, it's time for you to go and do the same as Todoroki... Uh, Catches himself mid, like, as he jumps off. Like, he just, he doesn't stumble like Ida did. Dear mother, I'll try to keep this brief. I'm doing everything I can to, re to reach my classmate's level. Oh! Oh, these are the... This is like a letter, one of the letters he wrote to his mom when she was still in the hospital. Yeah! Look at, look at Todoroki! Oh, he's so, he was so edgy back then. Oh, <laughs> which includes having conversations with them every day. Sometimes our conversations lead to arguments. And he's just thinking about him arguing with Bakugo and, you know, Deku and whatnot. Uh, but sometimes arguments help us understand each other's feelings. Sometimes my friends get angry and they cry. Not just for themselves, but for the sake of others. I want to be like that too. It's difficult, but I will do my best. As, as you see him running in, and you see the entire family looking at Shoto, coming in, and then you see the, the panels start to kind of crumble and get crispy as he approaches the fire. Oh, that's a good detail. Oh, that's good. Oh, they've been doing that a few chapters now, but that's so good. And uh, so we see Endeavor, who's... Endeavor's got to be really effed up at this point, being so close to Dobby. Like, I know he has natural heat resistance, but you can see his skin, like, peeling. Um, and he's holding Dobby, who looks to be on the verge of erupting. You see, like, the cracks in him and light emitting from him. Like, that's a classic, like, like right before it blows up kind of thing. Um, and Dobby's face, again. Oh, my God. So this this is actually reaching, like, a culmination here. Um, my prediction right now, I don't know how this is going to plan pan out. Uh, I think that Dobby will be the only one that dies. And I think, I think either his fire will just go out after whatever happens here. Or like, maybe, maybe Shoto can put him out with ice. I don't know. It didn't really work the first time, but, and this time he seems to be way hotter. So we'll see. Oh my God. That expression on him. He's just doing the classic. Horikoshi wide as possibly can be jaw with like the, the, the eyes like being blind. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. That's good. Lose all meaning. Oh, is that continuing from something? No, it's not. It's just by itself. Lose all meaning. It was as simple as this. Oh, if, if my, or if my origin Dobby's origin, is our confrontation, if our confrontation happens sooner. Whoa, and we're cutting to Shoto being a kid, and he's crying. I still have many, have so many things I gotta get out. Things I wanna say. And then, whoa, from Dobby's mouth, we're getting like a beam building or something. Great Glacial Ager. Oh my god. Is this the movie did back in Camino? I think it is. Dude, I what the I, okay, I don't know if it's cuz the unofficial scans or what. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what just happened. Uh cuz I you don't really see any ice. You just see like a big blob of white and like waves of like 
things getting knocked back. Whatever it, it whatever it is is a huge reaction. Let's continue. Oh, the, it created so much light. It's casting a shadow on the helicopter. That's so sick. Uh, and then the robots, or no, not the robots. Uh, the film crew is filming it. Everyone around the world's watching on their screens. Uh, the look at him, kid. He's uh, was the shark boy. They're watching. Oh, we're seeing all the evacuees on the carts watching. The five weenies kid watching. Oh, that's good. Wait, did it? Did, oh my God, he he dissipated the flame. Because we're getting a perspective of all the ground troops now and they look onward where the fire was and it's just like, like a dying embers of a fire flying in the air. There's no more giant glowing ball. Oh my God. <sighs> Everyone's here. <sighs> Shoto obviously <laughs> very winded. By itself, Great Glacial Ager. Oh, wait, no, he said, I see. Despite the circumstances, I think it's for the best. And then he's, and he, and he says, by itself, Great Glacial Ager might not be enough to stop this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so on the ground, dude, that's actually, that, that might be the most horrifying we've seen him. Dobby is on the ground and he looks, he, he just looks like a mummy. He looks like a petrified, uh, preserved mummy that's been wrapped up for like 3000 years. And it, like, you can tell that the flesh is all like deteriorated and it's like very bony and like he has no eyes and stuff. Oh my God. And then the back that the family kind of huddled together endeavor on the side Oh my God, dude. Shoto looks so beat up and just like scorched. Oh, oh my God. This animated is going to be so sick. I'm sorry. Continuing. Compared to the first time we fought, Toya, Toyanese flames are much hotter. Shoto shouts, uh, uh, Fuyumi. I don't think I can match his firepower. Maybe I'm not a masterpiece after all. Okay. And th that, then she replies, Shoto. Oh, and oh, that's a good, that's a good line. Maybe I'm not a masterpiece after all. Is it as it's right over Endeavor? It's showing him on the ground. Oh my god, everyone. Dobby says, Perish. Worthless old man. Die. We should all perish. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing, dude. Like, there's he has no eyes, man. He has no gums. He has no nose. I'm pretty sure there's no skin. Uh, I don't know what's holding his jaw together. This is, oh my God. This might be, out of everything we've seen, seeing this in motion and animated and the way, I, I hope it's so detailed and just dramatic when this is in the anime. More so than anything I've seen in this entire arc. And I know that's saying a lot, but like this is really, whew. He's freezing from the inside out. Toya Ni says, uh, Natsu. So what comes next? So is he going to like freeze from the inside and just become like a chrysalis and just like die? Man, from here on out, things will be hellish. I'm not sure who says that. Toya. Shouts Endeavor, who again, I should I you could just apply this to everyone in the, the Todoroki family right now. Uh, everyone looks effed up. Um, Toya, he says, I'm sorry. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, this that gave me so much chills. Yo, I'm sorry I didn't go to Sakoto Peak. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. That might this. Oh my God. I don't know if I felt some, so much emotion from the, all the Todoroki stuff from what I just saw right here. Endeavor being as burnt as he is one arm and everything crawls over to Dobby's frozen dying corpse, puts his hand on him and says, I'm sorry. I didn't go to Sh Sakoto peak. Dobby replies. I hate you dad and our family too. Yes. Tell it to me says Endeavor. Tell me everything you want to say. Ray, 
I pushed you past your limit. I'm sorry. Fuyumi, I put everything on your shoulders. I'm sorry. Oh my God. This is like some final word stuff. Like, Natsu, I neglected you. I'm sorry. Shoto, I'm so sorry. Break next week. 390 end. Oh, there's another page. Oh, oh, Toga. Okay. By the way, she was revealed to be the cover of the next volume. It looks really good, too. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so from Toga's perspective, you see the fire dissipate, the giant fireball. And she's thinking back to when uh, him and, and Dobby were at her place. And he was sitting in the windowsill. Uh, let's smile, Himiko Toga. He's thinking about when, when he said that. Smiling is why we live our lives. Toyakun, she thinks. Were you able to smile? And then in the background, Uraka looking pissed. Oh, the battlefield changes. Man. Okay, so obviously there's still some stuff like left, some lingering answers like will Dobby live and stuff. But for the most part, we're like 95% done with the Todoroki family. Like that was the big climactic thing. Tip my cap to you, Hori Koshi. You nailed it, man. You nailed it. That was so good. Oh my god, I, 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 I I'm not exaggerating when I say this. Like, I, I swear, when he, when Endeavor crawled over his one-armed, burnt-ass self that he is, and put his hand on Dobby's body and apologized to him, dude. Everyone's so fucked up, man. They're all super burnt or super, like, I guess burnt from cold. Wow. What a chapter. What a chapter. I don't know what it's to say. There's a break next week, which sucks. But, hey, Horikoshi, you can take all the breaks you need. Because I said so. Publishers, if you're... If you're listening to this, if you're hating me right now, give that man his rest. Don't push him. He's in the final stretch of his magnum opus. Something so many people love. Give him time to rest and do it justice. That's all I got to say. Because this chapter was a banger. Um, so good. So good. Okay. Sorry for getting this up late. I didn't expect it to go up this morning. Even if I did expect it to, I was on my way to work. So, not much I can do. Hope you guys enjoyed and leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in two weeks for the next chapter because we're getting that sweet break. All right, until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.